Hi, today we're going to see how to create a reportert effect in GIMP. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So first I need to crop this image here, this layer. So select the crop tool. And now I'm just going to, I just want to have a portrait of the women here. So I'm just going to reduce it here like this. So I think I'm going to leave it like this, press enter, and now go to image, crop to content. So here it is. And now I'm going to select the free select tool. And now I'm just going to make selection. So here make, make it distorted selection, make it look like the tone paper. So like this, so here, this one here, so like this. Not make it a straight one. So here, if you want to go back here to just press the backspace here to remove this one here. So here, so I will be able. So if I try, if I press the backspace here, so here it is. So I'm just going to complete it. So just close it now. Now press enter. And now while the selection is active, go to select, distort. And now I'm going to leave all the settings just like this. So press OK. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here, fill it with transparency, and then press OK. And now I'm going to fill this selection with white. So I'm just going to drag the background color on the new layer. Now go to select, none. So here's our first one. Now I'm just going to duplicate this one. You can still create another one. But for me, I'm just going to duplicate this one. So like this, I'm going to select the flip tool. I'm going to flip it vertically like this. So here, and then I'm going to flip it horizontally. And now you can still use the scale tool. So left click here. And now I'm going to move it up like this. And then keep shift key down here if you want to move it from one side. So I'm going to like this. So here, and now press enter. You can still rotate it, so select the rotation tool. Left click here on the layer, and then just rotate it like this. And now press enter. Now I'm going to crop the layer to the content, so go to layer, crop to content, and for the Top one here, I'm going to select the top one layer, crop to content, and now select the move tool. And I'm just going to move this one up a little bit like this. And the bottom one, so I'm going to place it here. Just move it up like this. And now I'm going to select the women layer here, duplicate it. And now I'm going to desaturate it, so go to colors saturation and then bring the saturation slider the scale slider sorry all the way down and then press ok and now i'm going to place the desaturated layer under the colored one so I'll select the women with the colors here right click on it add layer mask and then check the white full opacity layer mask and then add on the layer mask white represents opacity and black transparency. So I'm going to paint on the inside here with black here so it will show the desaturated layer. You can either use the brush tool or just make selection. So for me, I'm just going to use the free select tool and then make selection here inside the paper here effect here. So like this. So here now I'm going to close the selection, press enter, and then I'm just going to fill the layer mask here, this one here, make sure you're selecting the layer mask. If I click here, as you can see, there's a white outline around the layer here. So select the layer mask, and then just fill it with black. So here it is, and now go to select none. And now what I want to do, I want to add some drop shadow to these papers here effect. So I'm going to select the top ones, 
I hide so this is the top one so this is the top one so go to filters light and shadow drop shadow now I'm going to leave this one like this press ok so here it is and then select the bottom one so for this one I'm going to make the drop shadow going upward so go to filters and then just click on reshow drop shadow and then unlink this chain icon here and as you can see drop shadow is going down so I'm just going to place it up like this by reducing the Y scale here this one here the Y slider sorry so I'm going to leave it I think like this so here it's too much here so like this and now press ok now I'm going to select the top one right click and then new from visible so here it is so I think that's it that's how you can create a ripped portrait effect in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time